regardless of your educational status as a youth. Learning a skill will make you valuable to yourself, to your family, to your society, and to the world at large. And the best part of it is you will make money while doing so. Hello, 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 and hello again. You are welcome to this series, to this um, uh, channel where we talk about things that will inspire you, in, in, inform you, educate you, and we are here to learn together. So on this series of talking about vocations, we have a very wonderful guest. She's very hardworking. In fact, it was it was hard to get her to get to this, but we got there in the end because she's so, so, so super busy, busy doing, you know, um, what she needs to do. And she is so, so industrious. So I, I'm so glad that she could make it to this interview. And so today I am going to be, we're going to be talking about vocations, learning a vocation. So she's going to tell us a story about how or why she learned a vocation and why she's teaching others and that's because she's well read so she's done the uni she's done all the she's ticked all the boxes but well, here she is doing a vocation and teaching others how to um i mean to learn that vocation so i call on the screen now miss vivian to tell us about her vocation my name is vivian noma the ceo of the Anneli fashion outfit I'm a graduate of petroleum engineering from Novena University and also an internationally trained and certified customer service relations officer. In 2014, I left the petroleum industry to pursue my passion for fashion, where I started the brand Vianelli Fashion Outfit. At Vianelli Fashion Outfit, we make different kinds of bags, footwear, and clothing accessories with any fabric like your Ankara, your leather, your velvet, suede, or any material whatsoever. We teach people how to make bags, we teach people how to make shoes, different kinds of shoes for men, for women, and children, and also clothing accessories like your bow ties, your hair bonnets, your brooch any clothing that you choose whatsoever we teach you at Benelli Fashion Outfit and we also sell our products to different uh, countries not just Nigeria we sell our products both home and abroad we we'll export we we'll export our products today I'm proudly a professional bag and shoe maker so yes thank you very much for coming on the show the question is is it relevant for youths to learn a vocation regardless of their education status. What is your opinion on that? It is not only relevant, but also smart for youth to learn a vocation regardless of their education status. This is because whether or not you are educated, a vocation will make you a self-starter, an independent value creator and a solution provider. As a student, it is smart to learn a skill that aligns with your passion because it is the passion that keeps you going until you achieve your set goals. Regardless of your educational status as a youth, learning a skill will make you valuable to yourself, to your family, to your society, and to the world at large. And the best part of it is you will make money while doing so. As a student, while others are whiling away their spare time on frivolities, you can maximize your spare time by being productive and useful. Now, you said you're a petroleum engineering graduate. So that means you've yeah. learned, you've gone to uni, you've ticked all the boxes on all your uh, after secondary school, university. You are now doing a vocation that you learned that is making shoes bags accessories um so would you could you tell us what your story is what is your story what brought you from petroleum engineering and uh, graduate to having a vocation what is your story your personal story okay thank you very much ma um after my school I went, um, I went for my national service for NYC here in Nigeria. And um, while we were there, the three weeks, it was kind of boring to me. So I had to look for something to do to keep myself busy instead of just um, wasting the whole three weeks in camp, doing nothing and achieving nothing. So I just saw myself, I enrolled myself into a 
group where I saw people making um, bags, not even with the fabrics or the leather, it was just with the rope. So I, um, with the twine, you know the twine rope, yes. So I joined them and I learned a little. And after my service there, I decided to like, um, go for their delve deep into the bag making skills. So I started um, looking for places where I could learn how to make bags. When I see people carry an Ankara bag, I wonder how it's been done. I'm like, how do you make a bag from a fabric, like a piece of clothes? So I um, registered into a very big school and I was taught, I learned different kinds of bags. I started making bags. And then it was my passion for bags, actually, because um, I, I know when I was young, I used to carry, I used to love carrying bags. I used to love wearing um, um, same, same color, but when it, but when kind of a like black um, bag, I should have a black shoe. If I'm wearing a pink bag, I'll throw the pink shoe. So I love bags and I love shoes. And sometimes I buy bags and I'm like, how, how is this bag made? I want to like see how this bag is made. So I sometimes buy bags, try for a month or two, and destroy the bag just to see the way it's done and think if I could even make something like that. So mm. my passion as well is what um, gave a way um, into learning this skill. So um, I started learning how to make the bags first. And again, I went further into making, um, learning how to make sure. Um, so, um, because of my love for bags and for shoes, I enrolled myself again into a, a school of shoe making where I learned how to make different kinds of footwear for men, for women, and children. And um, when I started, my first shoe that I sold, I sold to my uncle and um, he went and came back after three years and said, Vivian, did you know this shoe I made? I'm still wearing it and there's nothing wrong with it. So that joy, you know, that um that joy gave me the push to keep I don't know if you get what I'm saying. And yes. as I kept seeing, um, seeing people wear my stuff, people wear my shoes. It wasn't, I wasn't just making for myself or for my family members. I still make it to sell to people, see them wear my products, see people patronize me, um, give me the joy and the peace to keep pushing me. Wow, wow, that's that's a beautiful story. It's the joy of seeing others wearing your products, you know, what you've done, it's it's is a boost. Thank you very much. And yet, like you said, I can see from what you said for those listening to us now, it's um to 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 know that your passion, what you have a passion for. She had a passion for dressing up and, you know, bags and, oh, how did they make those bags? And then, of course, she studied engineering as a petroleum engineering person. <laughs> Her engineering skills also got into, into work by um, pulling down things and putting them back together again. So, youths are there. If you're listening to me, what is your passion? What do you love doing? What have you learned? And she did not just stop there. She went further, learning those skills, those vocational skills to help her. So she didn't just say, oh, okay, I'll do it my way. But she went, she humbled herself to go and learn. So youths out there, if you're hearing me, you need to learn a skill. That is the way forward. No matter what your education background is or your status, we all need to learn a skill. And... Now takes me to my final question before the internet starts playing up now. My final question is, what trainings do you offer to people interested in learning a skill? I teach people how to make bags, different kinds of bags, fabrics, leather, any material whatsoever. I teach people how to make footwear, like your palm sofas, your sandals, your shoes for men, women, different kinds of shoes, even your sneakers. Um, your, your sneakers, your boots, any shoes at all, I'll teach you that. And I'll teach you how to make the trade looking accessories like your air bonnet, your toe bands, your bow ties, any accessories at all, even your boxers, your brown pants, yes, I teach that as well. Because a lot of girls um, love, they love looking good. You can go to the beach, you can dress and car fabric, you can wear the brown top and the pants for the night, you can wear your boxes. Anything that you want to learn, Wow, thank you. So, how can people contact you if they want um, to learn from you or they want the products you've made? How do you think they can contact you? Have you got a Facebook yeah. page or I Instagram or a number you want to give out? Okay, yes, we're on Facebook. My Facebook page um, is Vianney Fashion Outfit. Okay.
Yes, yeah, fashion as people on Facebook and on Instagram. You can reach me on there. And also my phone number. You can contact me by WhatsApp or you can give us a call if you want us to train you. Students in schools, even churches as well. We go to churches to teach people how to be productive, teach people how to, um, you know, get a skill, get a life aside from regular jobs you do. Follow your passion as well. So if you want to reach me, you can reach me on this phone number 080-228-8932. Let me repeat my phone number again. For those of you outside Nigeria, if you want to reach me, whether you're in Nigeria or outside, plus 234-8028-8932. Okay, thank you very much for um, sharing your knowledge with us. So it all says you must put your passion into play and whatever you've learned, there's nothing, um, whatever you've learned in life, it's, you can always make use of it and use it for a multiple source of income for yourself. So thank you very much for um, finding time to attend to this interview. And um, yeah, and I hope people hearing me who love to do bags and shoes and accessories and, and everything that <laughs> people out there um would be using uh with the materials is the ankara material now and other ma local materials you know um i hope they listen to this and contact you for learning so do you do international trainings online um for people who are outside the country who cannot yes, travel yes, yes. next year we'll be starting our online classes very soon by the grace of god from 2022 january we'll be starting online classes for those people who are not able to come physically to learn we have a virtual class where we can teach everybody from different parts of the world. Yes, from next year, by the grace of God, we start our online class. Wow, wonderful. Thank you very much. So that's interesting to know. So those of you out there, wherever you're hearing from, whatever continent, as long as you've got the internet, you can also learn. So thank you, uh, Miss Vivian, for in, uh, granting this much, interview. Ma'am. Enjoy it and I pray that the Lord blesses the works of your hands and increase you on every side, expand you on every side in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> so here, there you go. You've heard it all from her. If you have any, um, uh, any um, reason to want to create shoes or bags or even learn, she is ready to um, show you the way. And so you can enroll on her training course, which is going to start next year. Thank you very much for always listening, always supporting, always sharing. And I hope that you have learned from this that you need to follow your passion. Whatever, if you are thinking, what skills do I need to learn? What do I need to do now? I, I, I've, I've got this education, but then I want to learn something. What is your passion? What do you like doing? And that will lead you to your next, um, your next step. Thank you very much for always listening and always um, sharing the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.